Hi everyone, this is Kevin here, coming at you with my hands-on and first impressions video of the new Blue V9. So let's get started. Follow me on Instagram at KevinBreezeTV. Please join the Kevin Breeze tech community on Facebook to chat about budget smartphones, ask questions, and help others. The first item in the box here is the actual phone itself. We're going to put this off to the side and see what else is included in the box. We have a blue branded wall adapter. We have a SIM card removal tool. We have a micro USB cable, so this phone is not USB-C. We have headphones, which include a microphone and toggle buttons. We have some blue V9 literature. We have this really cool looking sticker. We get a clear case for the phone. We get a thin plastic screen protector, and we have a glass screen protector with a little cleaning cloth. So a lot of different accessories included in the box. This is pretty standard with blue products. We usually get these cases included, which of course this is a very thin case that won't provide a ton of protection, but still better than nothing, especially because I'm not sure how many third party cases are currently available for this phone. So knowing that you at least get a basic case in the box is a great thing to see. I also think it's really smart for Blue to include a glass screen protector in the box because that's definitely going to encourage more people to apply screen protectors onto their devices and at the end of the day that's going to result in less people damaging the glass on their displays which then leads to Blue not having to provide as much support because there's less problems occurring. And that saves Blue money, and they're able to pass those savings on to you. So my point here is that including a screen protector and a case in the box probably more than pays for itself and provides additional value to the customer. So I definitely wanna see other brands do this in the future. We'll now take the phone out of the bag here. Again, some of the basic specifications of the phone right here on the screen protector. We'll peel this off right now. And wow, that is a very shiny plastic material on the back side of the phone. It looks really sharp and it is kind of like a piano black color. And here we go, blue smartphones powered by Android. So it does run Android, which is a great thing. <laughs> I would expect it to be running Android, of course. Now I'm gonna let this boot up. I'm gonna get everything set up and then we'll take a look at the actual operating system itself. I now have everything set up and here is the phone. So, one thing that I'm definitely looking forward to doing is comparing this phone to the Blue G9, which is another recent handset from Blue that actually came out in May. So that's been a really popular phone and a phone that I've definitely liked a lot. And it's about the same price as this one too. So I'm really interested to see how those two devices compare. But like I said, I bought this device for $179.99 from Best Buy. And this is factory unlocked. So it's gonna work with any GSM carrier, especially in the US. So this is gonna work really well with AT&T, T-Mobile, Metro by T-Mobile, Cricket, and Straight Talk. It's definitely not gonna work with Sprint or Boost Mobile. And I'm gonna have to give it a try on my own, but it's probably not gonna work with Verizon. And if it does, then it'll only work with a few bands from Verizon. So if you're a Verizon user, I would not get this and I would get something else instead. But at least if you're a GSM user, then know that you're gonna have very good compatibility with this phone. Now, the device features a 6.3 inch display at 720p with a 19 by nine aspect ratio. So up top, we do have a notch, and in that notch is a 13 megapixel front facing camera. Now, I already pulled up the camera app and gave that a try, and I'm actually pretty pleased so far with the camera quality. You can see that it's definitely kind of a wide angle front facing camera especially, because you can definitely fit a lot in there. And I'll have to go outside and give the back camera a try and of course the front camera too outside to really get a good idea of how good it is. So stay tuned for the full review video where I'll be putting that to the test and showing you real samples from the cameras so that you can decide if the cameras are good or not. Now this phone is in the black color and in my understanding that's the only color of the V9 that's available. At least that's all that I was able to see on Best Buy's website. Now another thing that's kind of interesting is that apparently this phone is the same exact phone as the Blue G8, which is being sold in other markets. I'm not sure if it's gonna be available on Amazon or not. I have not seen the G8 on Amazon yet, but the thing is is that Best Buy claims that the V9 is a Best Buy exclusive, 
But if you can buy the G8 on Amazon or anywhere else, then it is technically still an exclusive for Best Buy, but you could pretty much then get the same exact phone with a different name somewhere else. So I'm not sure what the plans are with the Blue G8, how that's being launched. The phone is currently up on Blue's website, especially if you Google search the name, but I haven't seen any links to anywhere to buy it. So I'm not sure what's going on with the Blue G8, but the Blue G8 is the same phone as the Blue V9, which we have right here. So keep that in mind. And I'm sure that there's gonna be people in the comments mentioning that as well. So this phone features 64 gigabytes of internal storage with SD card expansion. So we do have a micro SD card slot on the side here, right by the SIM card slot. So you can put in a micro SD card up to 64 gigabytes to essentially double the internal storage on the phone. There's no wireless charging with this. And we do have a fingerprint sensor on the back. So that works really well. It's nice and quick. So it gets the job done. And then on the back side, we have a dual camera setup with a 13 megapixel main camera and a two megapixel secondary camera, which means that you are gonna get a nice bokeh mode with the phone, which is very similar to portrait mode that you find on iPhones. So I'm looking forward to taking photos with that. Always a great thing to see. And I know with the Blue G9 at least, the photo and video quality was surprisingly good. And it looks like so far from what I've seen from the photos I've taken in this office here, Blue has done a good job at optimizing the cameras to take the best possible photos that they can take. Now the phone features three gigabytes of RAM and I was kind of curious what processor is in this. So at first you can see on the back of the box, it does say that it has a powerful octa-core processor at 1.6 gigahertz, but they don't say what processor it is. So I downloaded this app called CPUX and it tells you all of the different hardware components inside of the phone. I went over to CPU and it says that it has a Uni SOC SC9863A processor. And I've never even heard of that processor before. Maybe I am just not well educated on it. <laughs> but for the most part, every phone that Blue has put out in the past has had a MediaTek processor. And MediaTek has definitely come a long way, especially with their Helio processors which one of those is in the Blue G9, which actually runs really well. And of course there's Snapdragon processors from Qualcomm as well that have been really dominant on the market, but I've never heard of this processor. So I went over to Google and looked it up on the phone here. And apparently this is a real company that creates processors that compete with MediaTek and Qualcomm. So I just had never heard of this company. So maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe this is a company that's been around for a long time, but I've never seen a phone with this processor before. I don't really know what kind of performance we're gonna be getting with it. Of course, I'm gonna be running benchmarks and speed tests to get a good idea of the performance that you'll get with that processor. But it looks like maybe it's a lower end processor, probably a little bit cheaper than getting a MediaTek processor, which generally is considered a budget option to Qualcomm processors. So, so it's a good thing that I got this phone to review because I'm sure many of you are curious with the kind of performance you're gonna be getting with that processor. So like I said, I'm gonna be putting it to the test and in the review, I'll give you my full conclusion on if this device actually performs well. But so far, I mean, it seems like it runs very smoothly, especially when I set this up and apps were downloading in the background, I was getting good performance still. So far, I'm pretty happy with the performance. Again, I'm gonna have to compare it especially to the Blue G9 to see if this performs better or the G9 performs better. But so far from what I've seen, this phone seems like a slight downgrade from the G9, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself with jumping to that conclusion because I definitely wanna use this for a bit before I make that final conclusion. Now, this phone is pretty expensive at $179.99, pretty much the same price range as the Blue G9. So I'm not really sure how this really slots in Blue's lineup of devices. Of course, this is a Best Buy exclusive and I'm pretty sure that they do not sell the Blue G9 at Best Buy. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that go into Best Buy not even considering the possibility of buying a competing device on Amazon. So this might be Blue's attempt at really grabbing a foothold into Best Buy's customer base and especially the people that don't necessarily shop around anywhere else. I did see that you can actually get a pretty good discount on this phone. You can get it for $129.99 if you sign up with a carrier plan when you're in the store. 
So I didn't do that because I already have plenty of active SIM cards, so I don't need to get another one. But if I had done that, then I would have saved some money on this phone in the store. Now video recording on the device maxes out at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Definitely good to see. Stay tuned again for that full video test that's going to be included in my full review video. Now the phone features a 4,000 milliamp hour internal battery, so definitely some solid battery capacity here with the phone. And it runs Android 9 Pie. So overall, I'm definitely interested in doing more stuff with this phone, really getting a good idea of what it's all about, and of course, letting you know about it in the full video review. Since this is a Best Buy exclusive, you will have to either buy this online through Best Buy's website or go into a store. I'd imagine that eventually, some of these will make its way over to eBay, whether that's people selling their used blue V9s or maybe people want to flip them, <laughs> who knows? So you might want to check out eBay if you don't want to buy this from Best Buy, but of course Best Buy is offering free shipping on the phone, so, so for the most part I don't see a reason not to get it at Best Buy. Now on the right side we have the volume rocker and power button, on the left side we have again that slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. On the top of the phone, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the bottom of the device, we have the microphone, we have the speaker, we have a micro USB port. So that is a little disappointing. I really wish this phone had USB-C, especially now that I've been really loading up on USB-C cables for charging my devices, but I'll have to survive with micro USB on this phone. Now on the back side again, we have that camera module with the dual cameras. We have a 13 megapixel main camera, and below it we have a 2 megapixel camera for the depth sensing, which allows this phone to take bokeh photos. We have the fingerprint sensor, blue logo, and secondary blue logo on the back side as well. So overall, I think this handset has a very appealing look and build to it. It definitely feels solid, it does not feel cheap, that's for sure, despite it being pretty affordable. And the display itself looks really nice, it's bright, it's crisp, it's clear. Maybe not the brightest ever, but still bright enough, that's for sure. Now even though it is 720p, it still looks super sharp. And it's kind of one of those displays that despite it being 720p, it's hard to tell that it is 720p because it really does look nice. So overall, I am pretty happy with the Blue V9 so far. However, I definitely want to put this up against the Blue G9 because I have a feeling that it might not be able to take down the Blue G9 because the Blue G9 really is a great phone, probably one of the most underrated phones that Blue has put out recently. But I want to know your thoughts about this. Now Blue also launched two other phones in the V line, and those phones are also exclusive to Best Buy. They're both cheaper than this device. Now I might review those later on, I'm not sure. I just didn't want to buy all three phones today just because one, it's expensive, and two, I didn't want to bite off more than I could chew with having a bunch of phones here in the office to review. So I might get those later, I'll have to see, not sure completely. I do like to cover everything that Blue puts out because I like this brand a lot and I know that many of you are interested in Blue as well. Of course, if anyone ever wants to leave a donation for me to cover a certain phone, then it's always appreciated, but it's never expected. Just keep doing your part by watching the videos and supporting me that way. But thanks again for watching. This is Kevin here. This is the Blue V9 Best Buy exclusive, and I'll see you in the next video.